All right, we are live. How you doing, everybody? My name is Kevin Hokwana. Um, today's going to be a good day. We get to go over a lot of cool stuff, and um, we're going to be able to break down some cool money-getting strategies for you guys. But real quick, before we kind of get into that, there's a couple different ways to grow an income out there, and you guys have probably been involved in these ways. And typically, it's generating leads and signups into a home-based business, right? Well, you probably failed with that. You probably failed with that your entire career and uh, for those of you who are successful good job on you but you know that the vast majority of people can't do that so we, we're, we're pretty lucky and we've got a couple of things going on that we're going to show you today that it's going to allow you oh hold on one second all right sorry I had to mute something out there hangouts what are you going to do so but we're going to get into something really cool today, um, something that is kind of changing lives really, really fast. And for those of you who have been in the recruiting side of the house, you know that uh, trying to go out there and recruit and build an organization and do all these things, it typically results in failure for most people because 97% of the people can't do it. So today we're going to give you a couple of options. And one of them, one of the options we're really going to present to you is something that we just started really letting the masses get their hands on and it's called options domination but it's one of two ways to really go out there and grow an income without having to recruit and sell people and tell people and all the things that you're kinda used to the other is with e-commerce and I'm a co-owner of an e-commerce uh, company an arbitrage company where we have thousands of people that are out there just inserting themselves in the e-commerce world as money moves across the world they insert themselves into it and we can teach you how to do that too but today what we're going to talk about is a new way to grow an income using binary options and leveraging binary options. And why binary options? Because it's fast, it's, it's money in your pocket really quickly, and there's really no skill set needed. You go into a system that we're going to show you today, and by the end of today what you'll be able to do is go in there, click a couple buttons, copy, paste over, um, and just take trades on demand, click, take a trade, click, take a trade, and that will allow you to grow an income. And we've got some amazing success stories and some folks on the line here that are doing amazingly well with that. And now uh, we're going to walk you through that. But um, but that's kind of where we're going. We're we're trying to take you out of that that rat race of trying to just recruit people over and over again. Because let's be honest, it's difficult. Even the gurus find it hard at times, right? Even the guys who put in hundreds of people get into ruts and can't recruit. So how do you expect? the new person to come online and just immediately recruit dozens and dozens of people into a network marketing company. It's not going to happen. It's just a cyclical failure in our industry. So we're going to take you out of that and show you a better way. And I want to introduce to you someone. His name is uh, Hitesh Janeja. He is a co-owner in, in DS Domination. And he's really the guy who implemented and designed and kind of dreamt up a lot of the stuff you're going to see today and you're going to watch him go through it. It's going to blow your mind and I would severely, highly, highly encourage you to get a pen and paper uh, to jot some of this stuff down because Hitesh does tend to talk kind of quick because he thinks a little bit faster I think than most of us but you'll see him go through and break everything down in a way that you can just get started with this and get up and running and start growing an income starting today. So enough banter, enough of Kevin. Let's go ahead and hop on over. Let's grab a tash, let's bring him out, and let him show you exactly what he's got here, and then uh, we'll, we'll move forward, all right? So if that sounds cool, if you got a couple minutes to, to relax and listen and change your life, then let's do that, all right? So Hitesh, my friend, are you here with us? Here? I am here. Can you hear me? I got you, buddy. All right. I'm speaking too fast. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, well, really quickly, let me let me summarize the problem, and I think you'll understand if you're watching this, you'll understand exactly why this is the problem that prevents majority of the people from succeeding. And then you notice, you know, right above this hangout, we had a little headline that said, "Okay, we're going to show you how to generate an income in the next seven days without any sales and without any recruiting." Okay. Now, almost nobody can make that claim because that's a very very rare thing to be able to do. I'm going to show you why that is because the typical way of generating an income is that you get a product, okay, any product. Now typically unfortunately it ends up being some kind of a MLM lotion or potion that you are going to be told that you need to go and sell this to your friends and relatives and aunts and uncles and so on and then you will basically recruit them into a, a scheme, if you will. I know it kind of sounds bad, but that, that kind of is what it is. So you're getting a product, and now it's your job to somehow find buyers for this product 
And to make that happen, you're going to need to go through a process when it comes to online marketing. We all already know you're not going to go and do this with your aunts and uncles and sell enough to make a life out of that. You, that's just not going to happen. Everybody knows that. We call that warm market in our marketing talk, but in reality, you know that it's just not going to work. Right. So let me go ahead and just move this up here a little bit. And all right, so what you end up doing is you try to do this online in the online way, and the way that goes is like this. And and if you have ever experienced this, you know, just maybe say something. Yes, I've experienced this. This this makes sense. You have a lead generation page, um, something called like like an opt-in page where somebody's going to go and they're going to leave their email address and their name or their phone number, and then from this page, you're going to basically start emailing them or send them phone calls or whatever and then you're going to try and convince them to buy okay so you basically get into the process of buying okay so we call this the buying or selling process and then there's a one big problem here right because this this is the easy part this right here is actually the easy part i know this sounds already terrible but this is actually the easy part the most difficult part in this whole process is the part that comes here which is traffic okay and that traffic word really just means finding other human beings other human beings that are interested in what you want to do or what you want to sell them and bringing them in here and in, in particular in the MLM world or in the network marketing world or in the let's sell you something online or how to make money it's really really difficult because it's a small pool of people that are all trying to sell each other so you're basically trying to sell this stuff to other sellers and they're all failing doing the same thing as well and that's why it doesn't work it mathematically cannot work for 90 to 95 percent of the people Okay, we'll cover that a little bit more here soon, but you realize right now the problem is this. If you could escape this part and you could escape the buying and selling process, then the average user actually has some shot at generating an income. Okay, so we'll, we'll get rid of all of the stuff and we are going to instead choose one of two ways. There are only two ways to generate an income without getting into this uh, whole rat race of recruitment and you know trying to get people to buy something from you and stuff like that there are only two ways one is get in an environment where there are way more buyers than sellers okay, and what this will allow you to do is you don't have to worry about the traffic generation and all this stuff there are people out there who want to buy stuff that you're selling and they'll automatically come in and, and buy it from you it's like having a having a store on a street corner where you know that everybody wants to get what you have to offer. Okay, that's one way to do it. Um, it. It still has some complicated steps involved in it, but this is the one of the only ways that the average user can succeed with. The other way is to get out of the buying and selling process altogether in the regular sense. Okay, by the regular sense, I mean that we're not going to be buying and selling products. We're instead going to get right as close as we can to the money itself, which is buying and selling of money in different ways. Okay, and that's basically what you know everybody knows. It's the financial world, Wall Street, trading, stuff like that. We're going to use a, a specific type of method of trading or a specific instrument of trading that's called binary options. Now that's going to be our beginning step. That's not going to be the end point, but that's our beginning point in this because it's very, very easy to pull off as long as you have the right uh, recipe you basically have the right ingredients for the recipe this can be very very successful for the average user okay I'm gonna show you exactly what binary options looks like it's at the core of it binary options is basically that you are going to predict whether something is going to be higher or lower or more expensive or less expensive than it is right now so for example let's say that you went to the store today. let's say you go to Walmart today and you look at price of apples okay let's say that you look at delicious red apples and today they cost two dollars and fifty cents per pound okay and then you and I are basically going to stand there and I say I think tomorrow at this exact time at 2 p.m. in the afternoon at this exact time tomorrow the apples will be worth more than two dollars and fifty cents okay and then you say nope I think the apples will be worth less than two dollars and fifty cents okay what's going to happen what's basically going to happen is that you you and I one of us is going to be right or it's going to be exactly the same price so here's what we do I say fine let's both put ten dollars in 
Okay, I'm going to put 10 bucks into a pot. You're going to put 10 bucks into a pot. And whoever wins gets that. Okay, so whoever is right will just basically get that 20 bucks now. Okay, so you'll basically make a $10 profit. Now, what I don't know is that in the background, the guy who supplies the apples happens to be your uncle or aunt, and they've already told you that they're going to supply way more apples tomorrow, so the price will be lower. So the next day, we come in at 2 p.m., and the price of apples is $2.49, and which is not a big drop at all, but it's just a tiny, tiny drop, enough to make it less than $2.50, and you get 20 bucks. Super, super easy thing to understand. Okay, people do this all the time in their regular life. In binary options, we're going to do the same kind of prediction, but we're going to do it for the price of oil or the price of gold or for different currency pairs like USD versus JPY, right? Um, this sounds complex at first because the world invests a very, very large amount of time trying to convince you that this is going to be extremely complicated, but it's really a, a numbers thing. Okay, you have to have a mathematical system that works out properly for you, and as long as it works out for you, you can be very successful. Okay, so let's let's walk through exactly what you need to do in a binary option setting when it comes to a platform like Options Domination. So here is what happens. I'm actually just going to show it to you because this is way easier to just show than even explain. So what happens in this platform is that you're in here and you will get a notification. You get a notification saying. GBP versus AUD that this currency pair in the next five minutes is going to be worth more than this, than this price. You're going to go to a place that we call the broker. Okay, you're going to go to the broker and you're just going to literally enter this exact rate. You're going to go to the broker and say GBP versus AUD will be worth more than this price in the next five minutes. And you can see that if it's green, that means we won. Here's another green we won. Here's another green we won. Um, here's another one that we want. This one just means that two prices were issued, that this is the price, and then we issue a second price that says it might go as high as this. So if you see this price, this is a better price to get. So in this case, you might have taken this price instead and said that Euro UAD, AUD will be worth less than this. Okay, And that is literally as simple as you clicking a button. You will just go to the broker and you will click the button for Euro AUD, and I'm going to show you that in a second here and you'll take the trade. So then the rest of it is just a pure numbers game and you'll see different expiry times, five minute expiry time, end of day, you'll see some end of hour and so on and so forth. So it's all about an, about numbers at this point because there's a very straightforward mathematical equation. Okay, the mathematical equation kind of looks like this. That whatever your risk size is, um, you're gonna take a certain number of trades in a month and this is your, let's say what you do over the month. Whatever your total number of wins are, you receive a payout on that and you subtract your total number of losses from that. So in this scenario, let's say that you took 60 trades like this. You looked at 60 signals and you won 70% of them. Not 100%, but you won a 70% of them and the trade size was $25. In this scenario, mathematically, you would make a $369 profit. Okay, that's just what's going to happen. That's the mathematical fact for this. That if you have this win rate and you took this many trades and your trade each time was just 25 bucks, you would, made, you would have made this much profit, okay? And you can see how this kind of starts scaling up if you keep, you know, cumulatively just keep going with it and keep increasing that over time. So it's a very, very simple concept to, to get. All you have to do is make sure that you maintain a win, good win rate and you get the right number of trades. And that's exactly what this platform does. The, the job of the platform is to issue you these trades every single day and you just go and take those trades, okay? As long as you you can follow along with that, and as long as it has a good win rate, you win. Now let's let's change these numbers around a little bit because we like being very conservative. Okay, let's say that you only had a win rate of 65% instead, you would still have made a profit. You would still be profitable. And that's basically what we're trying to do. If we maintain a 65% win rate across the board, over time you will be profitable. Okay, this is assuming 60 trades. Now why did we come up with these numbers though, right? Where, where did we get the 60 trades number and 65% and so on and so forth? So one of the things that Options Domination also does is that every night, okay, five nights a week, we have what's called a live trading session. Okay, in the live trading session, a trader comes on and the trader is going to issue the signals to you guys every, you know, basically in live setting. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. And this right here are the results from it. What that does is you have, basically you're going to work in that scenario, you're going to be sitting at the computer, you're going to pay attention for two hours every night, five days a week. Okay, so that's 10 hours of work every single week. 
and you're going to see these kind of win rates. And this is our, our historical win rate. So looking at a historical win rate, which has been close to 70%, okay, let's assume 70%, and we say that is all you do. The only thing you do is you ignore all the other signals. You don't do anything else. The only thing you do is these live trading sessions. So you're working 10 hours a week, and you will just take 60 trades from there because you're going to get roughly around 60 to 75 trades every single month. And if all you had to begin with was $25 trades over the course of a year, this is where you would end up at $43,000. Okay, actually you would end up above that because you would be at somewhere like $122,000. Now, obviously this is the world of trading and like all things, nobody can predict the future with, with full accuracy and these numbers can change over time. You know, you might, you, you'll probably not have a 70% win every single month. You might have 75% one month and 65% another and so on and so forth. But across the period of time, as long as these numbers stay consistent, you would end up with these type of results. That's just what's going to happen. Now, let's put that in perspective. You're basically saying that if you work 10 hours a week attending just the live trading sessions, which have this win rate and they maintain that win rate, and you take these trades following this example, okay, you follow these examples, you will essentially end the year at this level. Okay. Now, I don't know if anything else that anyone can do online where there is no sailing and no sales involved, no recruiting involved, and they can still get results like this. Now, now we could keep going forward, right? and this is unfortunately what a lot of people do. We can extrapolate this more and be like, well, two years from now, you would be a billionaire, and then six years from now, you'd be a trillionaire. We can't do that because, first of all, the numbers don't stay fully consistent all the way through, but more importantly than that, we believe there is an upper cap to this. So like, you can make like $100,000, $200,000 a year from this particular method and it doesn't scale up very dramatically beyond that okay I'll, there's many different reasons for that that i cover but the main point you need to understand is that our aim is to really make about a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand dollars extra over the year and if you follow this strategy you would end up there as long as these numbers stay consistent keep in mind you know and this is all a required thought process and a required disclaimer that this is prediction of, of the future. You know, we are trading and random things can happen in the market. And unfortunately, there is a there is a risk there, right? That you could lose the trade as well. In this case, we are losing 30% of the trades. In some months, you might lose up to 40% of the trades. And that's why we have to be very careful about this trading thing. And that's why you need something in the background, a platform that basically provides that for you. Okay, and that's the whole reason why this is not something that's very common. This is the, that's the reason why not every person out there simply goes out there and starts doing this because you need a platform or a system in the background that can make this happen for you. Okay, now you will also see over here based on these numbers we have something called the risk of ruin. This is basically the risk, a mathematical risk of can I blow my account in this month? Would I blow my amount, my account? Would I lose this money in this month uh, following this strategy? And the answer is no, there's a 0% chance of that happening right now. Now, of course, if you start trading a lot more, let, let's say you become a lot riskier in this, and you say, I'm going to trade with a lot more money in here. Let's say I'm going to trade with $75 each time. You'll see that the risk of ruin starts going up, right? So we keep it very, very safe, and that's the whole idea behind it. But in terms of simplicity, all you would be doing is not making a landing page, not making an opt-in page, not driving any traffic anywhere, all you would do is you would either do this with live trading sessions, okay, or you would just literally do this with the signals that are coming in at the signals table. You would just be copy pasting this signal over to your broker, and that's how it's going to work. Now, I'm going to get into that, but first I want to show you guys something live, okay? Now, this is a live Facebook group, and I'm just going to go back about two weeks, okay? So let's. Uh, let's go up to April 23rd, 24th in that range, okay? So here we are. These are all real results from our members. This is, you know, we are not going out there and telling people, hey, we'll give you some money if you give us a good review. This is just people posting their results as they're trading every single day, okay? So people will also post when they have a bad day, okay? So this is not monitored in that sense. We're not trying to make sure that we only keep one type of result. We, this, is, this is an open Facebook group. And you can see right here, uh, Friday won five out of six trades, won eight out of nine trades, four out of five trades. Finished the first week with a 61.5% growth in my account, netted $307, start with $500. Um, and we can keep going down for the up $334 in two days and just, 
it's just crazy how many results we have over a net profit of $62, net net profit of $2,400 in profits in, in this day from three signals, and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. Nine out of twelve won, and 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 on and on. So we can we can actually keep going through this, and uh, you will see that by and large people are winning quite a bit, and people are doing quite well with it, and having very good success. The key part here, though, to understand is that it's not just about these guys making all these high amounts of money or making big money. It's the fact that an average person can get started. They don't need to recruit anybody. They don't need to generate a whole bunch of traffic. They don't need $100,000 to get into trading or anything like that. They can just get started. They need not understand everything about what binary options are and how the market works. They can just get in here, start trading with the signals coming in, and get the type of results that are coming in simply because we know how well the signals perform or don't perform. Right. So, uh, Kevin, now you are a really, really good case study for this because Kevin was the first guy that we used as a guinea pig for this. So, Kevin, do you want to like walk through some of your experience on this? And then I'd like to have the other people share some of the stuff as well. And then I'll show how to do this live for everybody just so everybody can see how it's done too. Oh, great. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> this was all new to me when I first started. And um, one of the original algorithms, if you will, uh, that was... Uh, came out in options domination, I got to test it. Now, I was in a position where I was actually looking at charts. Okay, It wasn't automated on the back end. I was looking at charts, and I was taking trades based off of what the software was doing in the background, and I was just looking at charts and taking trades. And, um, you know, it was it was kind of shocking, and I, I had to pinch myself a lot. I could kind of couldn't believe it because... I was, um, you know, looking at a chart, and when it said, "Hey, take this trade going in this direction," I would take it, and I was winning, and I was winning, and it got to a point where I was like, "Look, I'm going to try to win a hundred trades in a row," and I never got there. I think I got to around sixty, um, but the the initial, you know, I was kind of the guinea pig, if you will, because I had never even heard of this stuff, and it was like, "Oh, Kevin, have you ever done this before?" I've never done this before. Great. Well, here you go. Here's how I want you to trade. Go ahead and try that out. Test that out. And um, and yeah, it worked. It worked phenomenal for me. And that actual process of looking at the charts is something that's taught in there as well. But um, I got to the point where um, you know I was doing good with it. But then the signals came out, and I started trading on the signals. And from that point, I was like, I don't need to look at charts and know all this crazy stuff about how to how to read charts and, and do what these guys on Wall Street do. I don't need that because I've got a signal that comes in and tells me how to take the trade. Now, put yourself in my shoes for a second. I'm doing good with the charts. I'm trading with the charts, and things are going good. And then I'm using a signal from a computer telling me when to take a trade, and I was, so I was a little bit nervous, right? Um, I didn't really – I was like, okay, I'm going to take the trade. I know that this is going to win, but I don't know about that. And so I started taking the trades of the signals, and, um, and now I won't even look at a chart. Uh, good luck trying to get me to look at a chart, right? Because the signals come in, I take the trade. There's no thought process involved. I don't have to read stochastics and RSIs and all these different technical stuff that I had to do before. I just have a signal that says, go take this particular trade going in this direction at this time, and I take it, and that's it. And um, I can just take it and kind of walk away and go do whatever I'm doing. And then when the computer beeps at me again, um, I know that it's time to come back and take the trade on the computer, you know, and, and I can go about my business. And what's really cool is I can actually have the site open on my cell phone and have it in my pocket. And so when I'm mobile, it beeps at me, and I pull up my phone, and I look at it, and it says, take this trade. And then I can open up an app for my broker and just take the trade there. So there's no... There's no reason to, to not take trades even when I'm out of the house out doing other stuff. Um, in fact, my, my wife had to put a stop to that because I was taking trades uh, while I was sitting at a red light in traffic, right? Literally a couple times I've done that. And uh, a beep would go off and I'd be like, oh, cool, okay, I'm going to take a trade right now. And Just I like FYI, we, we, the, do not, we do not yeah, recommend don't, don't, trade by driving. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, but I'm just saying that in the time it took for the lights to turn from, you know, in my reasoning, by the time it took the lights to turn from red to green, I'm, I could take a trade, you know, what's the problem with that? Um, I had to put a stop to that again, wife kind of said, no, it's dangerous, but, um, but that's just, I guess that's just kind of explaining how easy that this can be for people, right, is that um, I'm sitting here doing this at red lights, you know, I don't do that anymore, but I have in the past, so it can be that simple with the signal coming in and taking the trade, you know. So, I mean, 
it's and it's kind of crazy because what Hitesh was talking about was the live sessions. So you've got these kind of two dynamics going on. One, you've got a training platform that'll get you up to speed on all this. If it doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. It doesn't have to make sense to you because you have a foundational course that you go through as part of options domination. You go through the foundational course, it gets you up to speed. But number two, once you're up to speed, I mean, that takes maybe an hour, two hours at the most to go through and go, oh, got it, oh, easy, oh, okay, gotcha, good, awesome, great. And then you move on to taking signals from the site and trading on those. And then you get onto a live session where somebody's sitting there monitoring the markets for you and they issue you a trade right then and there in real time, live, boom, in a, in a chat saying, hey, take this trade going in this direction. And you take it and you're profitable on that. And it's just, it's phenomenal. And, you know, you're not going to, there's one thing I want to I wanna kind of toss out there is, you're not going to win every trade. It's just not going to happen. But as long as you have a consistent win rate over time, over the week, over the month, over the year, you get into some really amazing profits. Profits that you didn't have before. Money that was in your pocket that you didn't have before. They didn't have to accrue. You didn't have to build a bit, build it in the traditional sense. You can do that, and there's an amazing compensation plan here. But there's a lot of people out here that just don't want to do that. They just want to get on there and take trades and use the signals, and that's what it's there to do. It's a product that's designed to help you just get money in your pocket. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome. And um, I tell you what, we've got um, we've got Matt on here, and I'd like to I'd like to turn it over to Matt Hitesh unless you're going to go ahead and take it back over. Um, but uh, Matt's got some amazing results going on. Um, Aaron is on here as well in the hangout, and Aaron has been overseeing our Facebook, um, our Facebook group, and just taking care of people. And so, he, it, what's really cool about Aaron is he gets the bird's eye view of everything that's happening because he's he's looking down and he's helping people in the chat every day. He gets that bird's eye view of what's going on, and he gets to see those success stories. Um, and then, of course, Sean, <laughs> Sean's on every night on, like, every session um, in the Skype chat group with us going, oh, I'm taking this trade. Did you take that trade? This is amazing, you know? So pretty cool, pretty cool. And he's had a history with this. And, and the thing is, a lot of people have had a history with binary options, and they might not have done so well on other platforms. And I can get into exactly why that is. Um, but I, I'll say this. Um, Sean, Sean has been on platforms before that have, you know, have had those issues and he's doing pretty good here. Look at him. He's about to smile. And there goes the smile. Yep. There he is. You see that? So anyway, let me turn it back over to you, Tesh, and you can you can yep. toss it. I'm actually just gonna show one thing very, very quickly. Because I just want to drive home just how easy this is. This is not like let's figure out how to set up a blog and drive traffic to it and set up SEO and all that stuff. And there are no extra hidden costs in there either. I just want to show you guys an example of of like what you would do to take a signal. Um, so this right here is an image because the markets are closed right now, right? It's, it's the weekend. It's it's a Monday to Friday thing, and that's one of the other beauties of this. And and I'll talk about it in one second. But here is uh, basically a USD JPY asset that we have open. This is a this is an image, and what we are doing is, let's say a signal came in just now on the options domination platform, or let's say you were in the live trading session and you got a signal that said USD JPY will go up for in, in the next hour. Um, it will be above 98.659. Okay, what you're gonna do is you will just head over to your broker, and this is exactly what you will see. This is exactly the image that you will see, and you will look at this and you'll say, "Oh, is the USD JPY pair above 98.659?" Well, yeah, it is 98.683. So you will just click the button for call. You will put $25 in, just like. Uh, we discuss in the for whatever you want to put in really it's up to you we recommend you know starting out as low as possible and then um, you'll select your expiry time which we said would be an hour from now so you will select this as one hour for one o'clock okay and that's it yeah that's it you're basically done you will click the button and you have nothing else you can, you can do actually you just leave it be and then when the trade is over okay an hour from now if you win which happens you know, 65% of the time or so, if you win, then you get $42.75 in your account. And uh, it's uh, kind of exciting when that happens. And we've seen, you know, obviously I showed you guys some of the results from people coming in, and, and Sean and other people can talk about it as well. Um, but this is the most exciting thing, is that it's a fixed time duration, right? So one of the things that I really have come to value about this is 
all the other business that I've done online, everything else that I've done online, either creating products or creating platforms or promoting things or being an affiliate or, or whatever, it's almost like you can't get away. There's never an end. You're running 24-7 all the time because there's something always going on. This is a very fixed time thing. So it's very, very well suited for the average user because you can only do this from somewhere around Sunday evening to Friday afternoon. Okay, you, you can't do it beyond that because the markets are closed all of Saturday and Sunday for the most part, right? So, and especially if you follow the strategy of just going with the live sessions, if all you do is live session trading, then your job is so well defined because all you will do is two hours a night, if you're in the US, if you're somewhere else in the world, then your timing will be a little different, but two hours a night from Sunday to Thursday, you just basically get on the live trading sessions and you take the live trades. And really, Sean is great to talk about that because he's absolutely addicted at this point to the live trading sessions. But it is in this scenario of working two hours a night for five days a week that you end up with potential returns like this, which are mathematically sound, right? This is just a mathematical model. This is what, where we are saying mathematically, this is what will happen. This is not based on estimates of you know, here's what could happen in the future and you could do this. No, based on the last 11 months of analysis, 11 months of actual live trading that has been going on, our win rate hangs around 70% very consistently. It's usually a slightly, slightly more. The total number of trades issued are somewhere around 60 to 75. So we'll take 60 because we want to you know, keep it conservative. And your trade size should be very conservative. We, we only say risk 2.5% of, of the account balance in one go. And uh, we'll address all of these you know, specific things in a second. What we're basically saying is you have fixed amount of time that you're going to be working during. You don't have to work nonstop. You don't have to drive traffic and deal with 1,000 customers and 20,000 leads. You don't have to try and keep retention up and, and, and sell people on anything whatsoever. You don't have to build funnels and do videos. You just have to show up. And when the chat box says, USD JPY going up, call, you have to click the button. When it says zero USD going down, put, you have to click the button. And that's that's honestly what it is. That's honestly as simple as it is. Um, there's obviously a whole lot of complex things going on in the background, right? All sorts of analysis happening in the background before it comes out to us. But once it actually gets to you, that's your total job. That's, that's literally what you have to do. So I'm going to pass it on to Sean. I just want to clarify to people how easy it really was to do this. But Sean, if you want to talk about it a little bit. And now Sean is somebody who is plugged into both the sides of things, by the way as is Matt too, they're, they're plugged into both of these things. They're in an environment of e-commerce, so they're already using that one aspect of our business. And then on the other side, they're also plugged into the binary options trading side. And so they can actually speak very intelligently about both of those. So Sean, you wanna take over? Sure, sure. So can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, sorry. You know, the Google Hangouts, the one, the one downside about them is you always have people going, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you see me? <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this options domination thing. And you know, the very first time I saw it was last year, actually, uh, right around this time when we had the event in, uh, in the other company. And, in, you know, you flashed a 30-second video, and I got really excited about it. So... Uh, Kevin alluded to the fact that you know I have a bit of a history with the binary options industry and I feel like I've been in just about every room, every signal service that there is. I, I've had multiple indicators, I've tried different things and you know the reality is is the industry is loaded with scammy people and scammy indicators okay and, and and some of you who are watching this you may have been through that yourself okay and one of the biggest scams out there is a lot of signal services will claim that they have like you know 75 80 percent win rates and when you get the signals to your phone the strike price that you're given the price is like Atesh was showing like on the USD JPY that says you know take a call at this price will never ever be there so you as a trader or any trader for that fact that gets that signal will never actually have the ability to take that trade. Now what happens is these signal services will go ahead and count that as a win even though nobody can take the trade. So they're over inflating their numbers and what really happens is when you take the trades that you can actually get in on, you're winning like less than 50% of the time and your account's slowly going down over time. 
this happens too with indicator services that I, I've been on, where you know you'll get an indicator uh, with MT4 platform or Thinkorswim or something like that, and it'll tell you to take a call when the arrow points up. And sure enough, you do everything right. You watch the chart, the arrow points up. It's a super arrow, and you take the trade. And all of a sudden, that arrow moves or repaints to the next candle. And all of a sudden, the trade starts going the wrong way, and you lose. And again, you have these people, these marketers out there that are claiming, you know, 70, 80 percent win rates when, when you know, they're full of it. it. It's just not true. So the one cool thing about options domination, and I, I was lucky enough to, you know, get a sneak peek with Hitesh, and, and we had a little webinar before where he walked us through uh, some back testing and some real proof on the numbers, is that when you get the signals, they're real. When you see a USD JPY signal come to your phone or come to your computer, they're real. You can actually take that trade on the spot. When you see the win rates in the back office, you can actually count on that being a true long-term win rate over a bunch of trades. And it's absolutely amazing. Now for me, uh, I only, I, I'm at the legacy level, so I have the highest product. I only take a certain trade type. There's different signals in there, and, and there's one specific uh, signal type that just performs super, super well. And I only take maybe two or three signals a day. So it's it's super awesome because, you know, I, I run my e-commerce business out of my home. Uh, I have a one-year-old uh, kid that I like to hang out with. And uh, really, I can just sort of let the signal run in the background, and when I hear a beep, I walk over to my computer, I press a button, and you know I get back to playing with my daughter or working on my e-commerce business or whatever, and usually they're end-of-day signals. I check back at the end of the day, it's like, oh, okay, I won two, lost one, or I won three, lost zero, or whatever it is, and it, it's literally like a couple minutes of work. Uh, and the beautiful thing that I love about the live trading sessions, and I told this to Atesh before, is I think they're probably the most boring things in the world because you're literally watching a white screen of some random dude chatting, but they win. Um, and and it, that's what's really exciting about it is that you know that pretty much every week when you take the trades on the live session, you're going to come out ahead. And my first week in the live trading session, the guy went 15 and 5, then he was 13 and 4. Uh, last week was a little lower. I think it was. I think it was like a 10 and five or 11 and five week. But nonetheless, it was still. It was still around like 67 or 68 percent win rate. Uh, but it, it to me is one of the most legit things that I've ever seen in such an industry that is so not legit. If that makes sense. So uh, and I don't want to say not legit, but there's just so many people that try to capitalize on opportunities and just do such unscrupulous things. You know, like I said, with the faulty signal win rates and the the repainting indicators, and you know, I could just list on and on and on and on. We have something here where you can put in two hours a night, five nights a week, uh, and count on results. And if you want to trade signals through the day on top of that, which is just an added bonus, it's a couple of mouse clicks, and you can go on about your business. And like Kevin said. You can get these signals on your phone, and, and you can go into the broker app and take the signal, and you're done. You don't even have to really be at your computer if you don't want to be. So uh, this, to me, is, is just really exciting. And the cool thing is is, is I've seen so many people um, making a lot of money, and we're just a month into this thing. I know talking to Tash late into the night that there is he hasn't even unveiled half of what is coming with options domination. So uh, I'm just really excited to uh, be in this. I'm excited to actually be winning money. Uh, my first month, I doubled my account. Um, I'm starting with a thousand bucks. I could have started a lot higher, but I'm doing a 90-day case study to try and grow my account from 1,000 to 10,000. In my first month, I, I doubled my account based on uh, taking 5% of my balance and just having about a 68% win rate uh, in and around over the first month with trading the signals and doing the live sessions. So. Um, the results aren't jumping off the page, but it's 100% ROI, right? It's a thousand bucks on top of what I didn't have before, and now I'm going to start trading higher amounts this month, and my account's going to grow, and I'm just going to keep growing and growing like the spreadsheet Hitesh showed with really just a couple button clicks and going to live sessions uh, two hours a night, five nights a week. So uh, super excited about it, and uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. I think I pretty much covered everything. So I'm going to toss it back to you. Real, real quick, I want to hop in here, Hitesh. Um Everything that Sean, awesome man. Everything that Sean has done. And this is this is what is horrible about a lot of the other uh, components of trying to make money online, is that you see somebody doing it, but there's no way that you can duplicate what they did. And the fact of the matter is, with this, everything that Sean's done, and everything that I've done, and everything that anyone's done as far as to make money using the platform, is 100% duplicatable. Because if a signal comes in 
and you go to take that trade and I want it, guess what? I know that thousands of other people have won it as well because I didn't do anything different. We all do the same thing. That's the cool part, right? I mean, is that not am, – am I, am I hitting that right there? Because in everything else, if I tell you, you know, one of my favorite things to do, guys, is the marketing side of the house, right? Lead generation and capture pages and sales funnels and all this stuff, and it's very difficult for me to teach that to you because it takes skill set. It takes a lot of skill set to go do those things. But with this, there's really no skill set. Sean didn't do anything anything out of the ordinary that you can't do. In fact, he did exactly what a lot of other people did because he got the same signal. He's on the same broker. He's taking the same exact trade at the same price. I mean, it's all it's all just duplicatable. And it's the only thing that I've seen out there that is 100% duplicatable. What do you think about that, Sean? I mean, yeah. It, yeah, because my, you know, it was really cool actually the other night actually on Wednesday I believe it was my buddy Brian, uh, who's also in the e-commerce business and just crushing it on, uh, just crushing it on Amazon. I mean, this guy's selling like thirty to fifty k a month on Amazon, and uh, you know he's he's at Legacy and and he got in and he brought his team in, so he's doing a little bit of the marketing. And I said, I said Brian, you got to get on on these live sessions, and so he said, okay, I'm gonna jump in tonight. And uh, I, I told him, I said, you should probably demo first. And he said, no, 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 I don't care. I'm just going to take like $25 trades. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in like 1000 bucks. It's just 25 bucks, no big deal. And uh, sure enough, that day he, he jumped in. He took a couple signals with us, uh, end of day signals. Um, he didn't really know what the heck he was doing. Like the questions were like, so put is the red button, right? And if it's above this number, I, I, I take this, this, I press the button, right? And it's one o'clock when he says it's half an hour, right? And he's literally the most basic questions that somebody who's never ever seen anything before would ask. Uh, and I was able to answer because it's just like very simple, you know. Yep, pick one o'clock, press the red button, and when it's above this price, click it. And he's really that simple. And he went three and one, you know. And he went three and one, and he won whatever, right? I mean, he whatever you get twenty, sixty bucks minus twenty five, so he was up, he was up thirty five bucks. Nothing crazy, uh, but for somebody who just like walked in, had no clue. Uh, asked some very basic questions, clicked on a couple buttons, and he was up 35 bucks. And I mean, you know, as your account grows, all it is is just scaling up dollar amounts, and now you're, you know, you're making a few hundred bucks with a couple mouse clicks. So yeah, it is definitely, you know, and to your point with marketing, like people are always asking me for marketing tips on the e-commerce thing, and I can teach them, but it's it's a process, right? You can't just be like, you know, I do YouTube, I can't just be like, okay, yeah, this is how you rank a video. Now go make money. You know, it's you got to put up a hundred videos, you got to buy a camera, you got to, you know, there's a whole process involved. Whereas with this, you can literally come in, not know a darn thing, and that evening hop on a live session, press a couple buttons, and you walk out in profit. Like I've, I've personally never seen anything like it. So uh, you hit the nail on the head with that. Yeah, that that is actually one of the things that, in my opinion as well, is one of the most exciting things about this. And you just mm -hmm. Describe it so beautifully, Sean, is the speed at which the average user gets results. And that's one of the, like we actually look in here and that you see so many people every single day. And, and I get, you know, all these other messages on the side with people going, oh, you know, I was, I, I just started, this is my first day trading and, and I just did this, 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 and I made 200 bucks. You know, what's going on here? Because it's, it's almost hard to believe that you could have something that gets extremely quick results that doesn't require any special skill set as long as you are simply continuing. And that's one of the other cool things also what Kevin was saying. If you're on the marketing side, if you have a team of people who are with you in options domination, who are, are taking the signals with you, you know because of your results that they have good results, which is something that you can't do in other companies, right? In other, other MLMs if you're involved in them or other systems if you're involved in them or whatever it is that you're doing. You can never say, well, I was successful, so all of my download must be successful too. In fact, we all know mathematics, you know, usually it's like 3% of people will be successful at all and 97% of the people will make nothing or will even take losses. While in this scenario, the numbers are very, very different from that. Because we can see how well the signals performed, the number of people who are taking losses are, are relatively few compared to the number of people who are actually winning. And that's just because... Um, it's just rare for somebody to take just the wrong signals. If somebody's attending live sessions regularly, like over the last 44 sessions or 43 sessions, we had two or three sessions that were losing sessions. The remaining 40 sessions were all profitable. So it'd be very rare for somebody to get in here and and have a losing day. It's it's much more 
you know, likely for somebody to get in and, and they're, they're profitable from day one, actually, usually. We, I had another person who just wrote, wrote in recently and they said, um, you know, I had a losing day and then I continued. You know, I was like, you know, I'm not going to give up yet. I just continued. And that's basically what happened. They started on the day where we had one of these very rare losing sessions. They continued over the week. They ended the week with $2,800 in profit while their first year was losing. And that's, that's all it is. This is all just law of averages and total mathematics. At the end of it, we know that we are maintaining 70% winners. Now, that's assuming, of course, that we maintain that. You know, with, with something like trading, there's always a risk that in the future something can change. But based on our numbers so far, based on the last 11 months, we are doing something around 70%. And this is just math reality, right? This is just the mathematical reality. It's not like, like what Sean was saying. It's not like saying, if you can make a YouTube video the way that I'm telling you and you connect with the people the right way and the people really like what you're saying and your link is coded the right way and they go to this and then they, they're attracted by it, they might buy something from you. There are so many factors in there that could change. In here, there are none of those factors. It's just money interacting with money. It's it's the you know the market, which is not really in a, a living being, although it reacts to emotion. And then you have this pure mathematical system right here. And this is what Sean was talking about. He's starting with $1,000. Um, he's taking $25 trades. Now, in his second month, you will notice that I just showed $369 in profit. Um, Sean actually was at $2,000 in, in the first month end, so he actually made a $1,000 profit. And he's going to do a 90-day case study, so he's through 30 days, and he's going to get to this point, and he's going to show us where he ended up with just through this process. So that's that's the whole gist of it. That's why this is so attractive and so easy and so wonderful. And I actually want to get Matt's perspective on this as well because Matt has a slightly different, I think, background because Matt started out, he's been a forex trader and things like that. This guy is like, you know, like one of those boy geniuses that when he was a little kid in high school, he was doing all this trading and whatnot. So I really want to get his perspective as well because, uh, you know, we, we're talking just about the average user. I want to see also what a slightly expert user has to say about it. Hey, Atash, can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. All right, sounds good. So, so yeah, here's my story, guys. Um, I bas I did do a lot of forex trading in high school, as Atash noted. Um, the problem with that, or well, two problems with that. Number one, uh, I did have to actually stare at the charts constantly, right? Come home from school, look at the charts. Um, and the other thing is that when you're taking forex trades, uh, it's not just up or down that matters. It's how much up or down. So you have to get up or down right, but then you need it to move enough so that you actually make a profit. Um, in the binary options, you know, if, if it goes up or down, you're making 70, 75, 80 percent. Um, and that takes a ton of movement in actual Forex to, to uh, get an 80 percent return. I mean, it never happens. So um, I did Forex trading in high school. Uh, then, then DS Domination came around, and I thought it was a lot easier to drop ship stuff. So I kind of stopped Forex trading completely and started drop shipping. And, you know, I'm doing over $100,000 in sales a month on Amazon. I think it's 111000 right now in the last 30 days. So I've definitely been making a lot of money with that lately. Uh, so then options came around. I actually saw the video um, last year at the event, the little, um, you know, teaser video, I guess. And... I kind of looked into it as well, not not too much right away, but back in December, and I said, well, I have forex trading experience, I can do this, you know, it's just up or down, it's easy. So I funded an account and played with it in December, a lot of my own trades, and I was taking $250 trades, and I did about $24,000 worth of total trades, so however many trades that is, and I looked at my numbers, and at the end of it all, I was down $18. And I said, well, that was a big waste of time, right? But, you know, someone who has, ex and this is why it's so difficult, I have experience with it, but even with experience, I wasn't able to win. It was enough to break, almost break even, but um, still be down over $24,000 worth of trades, you know. Within error, I could have easily lost lost more. So I stopped doing that, and I waited for the test system to come out. And uh, now I'm just taking the signals and the live trading sessions, and I think with the live trading sessions, I've had one losing night. It was this past Sunday. I think they went one and three. Every other night, it's three and one, three and zero, oh, two and one, two and zero oh, type of thing. Um, I think the win rate's been about seventy-six percent when I've been in there. So real high, even higher than the seventy. Hitesh says. Uh, as far as the actual computer-generated signals, um, I've been missing a lot of those at work. I usually get 
two or three of them a day. I didn't know until the other day when Hitesh told me that it would that it would beep on your phone when you had it open. So I shouldn't miss as many now, but but those are winning at about a 64% clip at the ones that I've taken. So that is a much higher than what you need. I think you need 56% to break even. So um, not bad at all there. And my account's definitely going up and looking forward to continuing. Beautiful. Sorry, we, we all kind of mute ourselves, so it takes a second after it. <laughs> yeah, Nobody yeah. Gets in, I got you. <laughs> yep. And uh, I was kind of expecting Kevin was going to jump in and, and, and say something. But So, uh, so I, I, I can say this. Um, my account's gone up, and I haven't had to take any trades at red lights either. So, um, you know, yeah, you there don't you have go. to, yeah. have to that, do that. That's other, <laughs> yeah, that's the other great thing about the live session. You should probably not be driving <laughs> when you're doing those. So... I told so you to take that, right? I didn't do that anymore, and so... <laughs> but it, it took your wife to stop you. Well, well Kevin, yeah, Hitesh, uh, Hitesh hasn't knocked on you at all yet, and it's been like half an hour into a webinar, so I had to take my chance, right? Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to take a shot at me. I get it. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with it. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'll tell you what though. Um, it's, it's really cool because you've got the average person coming in here and taking trades and make, getting results, and then you have people like you that have had a history with this, and done this kind of stuff before, been involved in the financial industry, or, you know, it's, it's great. It's great. And we have some folks that um, are high up in, in the, these industries and financial industries that are looking at what they're doing, and they're kind of going crazy. And I'll tell you why, because um, a lot of you that are out there, you know, looking at this, there's a couple things happening. You have some offshore brokers, and some of them are great, and some of them are not so great. But then you have Nadex, which is regulated by the government. And they're available in like 122 countries or something crazy like that. But they're regulated by the U.S. government. And so they're, you know, these, these guys on Wall Street or the Forex guys and all these folks that are out there taking trades right now or, you know, working in this, this options kind of arena, um, they're looking at this and they're going, wow, Nadex has put together this nice platform that allows me to go ahead and, and trade on here. And they're testing out the waters. And the problem is, for even those guys, is, you know, they got to look at charts. Again, at the end of the day, everyone's got the same problem. you got to look at a chart and you got to sit there and wait. All right, did it go up? Did it go down? Okay, can I take this trade? What am I doing here? And you don't have to do this with options domination. All you do is get on a live session and let a trader tell you what to take. And then, of course, you have the signals that come in all throughout the day. So if you're at home, if you're, you know, I work from home, um, obviously, but... If when I, I can just listen for a beep to pop on, go over, sit down, take the trade, and go about my business. Or if I'm at the computer, I take the trade. I don't have to think about it. There's no thought process. It doesn't slow my day down. And a lot of people that are in other network marketing companies, it doesn't interfere with what you're doing there either. Why? Because you're not, you don't even have to recruit to prove it to yourself to get into profit. You're just doing what everybody else is doing, level playing field, taking the signals that come in. And with brokers, or, or with exchanges, I should say, like Nadex, that are legitimizing this entire industry is just a phenomenal, exciting time. It's a ground floor time to get in on this. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So I'll shut up for so a as, as you guys heard, the best part Kevin likes about this is not thinking. Exactly. Um. <laughs> exactly. I don't have to think. That's my favorite, you know, because that's, that's hard for me sometimes. You know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the thing, though. So what what the one of the big problems is the other big problem in this industry is I, was, I, I keep saying industry 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 it sounds kind of hypey or weird almost but in in the world as a whole when it comes to things that pertain to financial matters like this one of the other big problems that we have is that people like to charge a lot of money for it like one of the basic things is oh you want to get into trading fine it's got to be 50, 50 grand or ten thousand or whatever some some crazy number like that. And uh, even on the e-commerce side, we're starting to see that now. I mean, there are people out there who are like, oh, it's going to cost you $10,000 for me to teach you what to do on Amazon, which is basically the same stuff that Sean is doing or things like that. So it, it's kind of crazy that the second there is something that can generate an income for an average user, there are all these hyenas and wolves ready to take you for every, every penny that you have. So one of our other main concerns was, can we build a platform that is designed to be successful for the average user, but also make it so affordable that the average user can get in and start growing from there. Okay, so that is the other thing that we did with options domination. You'll notice in options domination, we have three different distinct levels. Okay, there's the inheritance level, which is really just about these signals during the day. Now, the idea behind inheritance though is that you're gonna get in here, you're gonna go through all the training, 
You're going to understand how all this works. You'll start taking some trades, and you will get used to it. You will learn how to use it, and that's basically it. Okay, that's that's the idea behind inheritance. You'll come in, you'll start taking these day trades, and you will begin to see the power behind what's there. Okay, now after that, you can move up to the enterprise level. Now the enterprise and inheritance, by the way, is 50 bucks a month, slightly under 50 bucks a month. So pretty much affordable to anybody. And a lot of our people, users, you know, they basically make that money. Like, like actually, what Sean said as an example, this person just started the first time they ever did it, and they made 35 dollar profit. Um, so you can almost cover the costs of your inheritance membership. Like usually, if you're following all the training, then you should be able to do it in the first week. Now, on the enterprise side, enterprise is a second level up. Okay, and this is quite honestly, in my opinion, the best place for somebody to begin if they have the money. Okay, now inheritance, like I said, is designed more for somebody who has no money. They're very, very scared. They're very, very skeptical. Sure, get in there and go through all the training. See for yourself how it works. You have, you know, take your 30 days and enjoy it. On the enterprise, though, is where it starts getting really real. I guess is because you start getting live trading sessions on this point. Okay, so at this point, you get live trading sessions, and you also get. Um, higher end signals, if you will, which we know perform slightly better than inheritance level signals all the time. So the enterprise level is where I believe it really starts becoming real because you have seven trading credits. So you can enter seven live trading sessions at the enterprise level. You go in there and you just start doing what this spreadsheet shows. Right? That's that's basically what you start doing. So this. Spreadsheet design entirely around live trading sessions. It's not even it's not even showing you what happens with all of the other signals as well because the numbers that kind of get crazy and we don't like showing crazy numbers because when we show crazy numbers people get this false idea that they're going to be a millionaire in the next couple of weeks. But quite honestly, if I plugged in the numbers showing 200 trades a month instead of just 60, which is what happens in live trading sessions, this number would be like in in the tens of millions range at the end of the year and we obviously don't think that's realistic right we we believe it's more that you you keep climbing up and as you're climbing up you keep taking some of the money out and putting it into other investment methods so that you're building something of a portfolio to leap to your future generations and things like that now on the legacy level is where you actually get right now you get basically 18 live trading sessions which is all the live trading sessions that are held every single month. So you basically get to attend every single live trading session that happens. That's where this spreadsheet is actually truly applicable to you. Um, and you do work up to this, right? We don't expect that somebody's going to come in and they're going to start at the legacy level right away. I mean, of course, if you if you can't afford it, this is the most profitable level to begin at. You get all the signals that are, you get all the live trading sessions that there are. Um, and if you're an affiliate for the company, then you can also earn, you know, the best earning potential is on this level as well. But by and large, you know, across the board, we, what, in my opinion, the best place to begin with is really enterprise because you can go through the training. It's not like an insane number of, you know, you don't have to go through a thousand videos. It's about training that will take you maybe four hours to complete. And maybe another two hours to really let it sink in. Then you practice on a demo account. So you don't even use real money in the beginning. You just practice on a demo account for a while. Okay, let's say you practice for a couple of weeks at least. So you get really used to taking these trades. You really begin to understand what you're supposed to do. And then you begin with the live trading sessions. And you take these signals yourself. And we show you how to analyze these signals to make sure you're taking really just the best signals out of this. So your win rate is really substantially higher. And that's what you would do. You would take the signals on this table, but you would really focus on the live trading sessions to be your main source of growth, if you will. That's that's really how it works. So in my opinion, enterprise level is the very best place to begin. Uh, but it is entirely up to you. You begin at the pace that is most com comfortable for you. Okay, there's no pressure whatsoever. In, in our opinion, if you want to be inheritance for six months and then slowly move up to enterprise or whatever, totally fine. But just make sure that you're actually keeping in perspective that our aim and your aim is to get to the stage of growth so you have a very clear idea of what you can expect over the next year or two years in terms of net growth. And uh, that's that's basically how we go about it. Now, I, I'm sure that people are already looking at this and also going, well, there's this affiliate thing right here. What is this affiliate thing? What's that for? Because these three are the product sides. Well, the affiliate side, and that's why Aaron is on here, and Aaron would be great to talk about this right now. Uh, basically, the affiliate side allows those of us who are marketers, who are not the guys who will be trading, right? Because remember what I said, in the average company, about 3% of the people will be profitable and 97% of them will not. Those 3% who are profitable, 
most of the time will be the three percent who are actually mark who are actually good marketers. Okay, they know how to set up pages and to drive traffic and all the stuff. And for those of you, those of us, all of us who are marketers, actually, there are a couple conditions to promote a successful product and build a successful business out of marketing. And those two conditions are basically retention and duplication. You want to be able to make sure that your people, that the people you're referring to the system are being profitable, that they are generating some income within the system by using it. And we have already shown you that's the whole emphasis of options domination. That's what it does, right? This is not like all the other MLMs where the idea is, oh, we're going to get in here, but then you actually start you know, there's, there's no way for your actual user to generate an income. And you start seeing this gra the massive rate of people losing out and people dropping out because of that. So you don't have the problem of duplication of success because people can succeed. And that by default means that you don't have a retention problem because people actually will stick around. Um, you can imagine the massive difference with us because somebody comes in here, once they start doing the live trading, and Sean is a great example because you might not be able to see it, but Sean is a very hard guy to please at times. He's, he's very mean as well, to me at least. But um, he he is now addicted basically to these live trading sessions, and that's basically what we see. That once people get into the live trading sessions, they realize this is the most profitable thing that I can do right now. It takes me two hours a day, so I can take out two hours extra every day and start working on a second source of income. You don't have to give up a job if you have one. You don't have to change any primary business you're doing if you have one. You can just focus on two hours a night, every single night for five days a week, and that's 10 hours a week extra work. It's like something that almost everybody can manage. And unfortunately, if you're in a position where you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to work an extra 10 hours a week for an extra potential of $100,000, $200,000 a year, well, then sorry, because then you shouldn't be actually looking at something like this. But that is as close as you get to an income for the average user that is not dependent on recruiting, that is not dependent on sales, that is not dependent on traffic, that's not depending on any special skill set, and they can just simply follow along. They can take these trades, but really they should be taking those, those leg these uh, live trading sessions every single day, and you can just blow it up. And if you're an affiliate, you will actually be really happy to see your team being successful every single day as well. So. If you, um, you know, that's 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 basically where we are with the whole thing. And Aaron, I'd really like you to give us your perspective. On this. You're not really doing the average user stuff because you know you're not the average person. Yeah. Hey. Um, yeah. Thanks for bringing me on. You kind of took most of the words out of my mouth, but uh, I'll go that here. Was um, now, now I look it, good. That's cool. So basically. Um, I'm the affiliate guy. I'm on the affiliate side, and most of what Hatesh said is 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 spot on. 98% of the people fail, 3% of the people succeed in a typical internet or network marketing company uh, because the people that are failing can't recruit. So basically what we have here is we have a rock-solid product that a person does not have to market with in order to make money. <clears throat> For me, as an affiliate, that's critical because now I can feel comfortable selling or building a team of people that are product users. Now, what happens that people, when people are product users and they and they have success, they may not become a super recruiter. But when people have success, people like to talk about good things. So they may go talk to a couple of their friends, even though it's not required in order to earn an income here. And basically, the psychology kicks in where it's not required. So somebody will go out and do something that they don't have to do because they want to do it. That's why they'll do it, because now they have a good thing to talk about. It's not required for them to earn an income in, in order for them to do it. And now me as an affiliate, I have retention. My team continues to grow. I continue to get to bring on affiliates that were product users, not everybody, but but some people. Even, even some people that have um, positive experience will never become an affiliate. So th th that's cool. So we have product users. We always need product users and customers, people that will never be an affiliate, that will just be a person that purchases the product. That's awesome. So I mean, that that's critical and what's important to me where I have other affiliate friends where they want the same thing. They want a product that's solid, that they can go out there and feel good about promoting, where everybody's going to win, meaning everybody's going to make money that actually follows the directions. And, you know, typical disclaimers apply. Your, your results may vary, but if you follow the directions, what history has said is, is you know, it, it, everything is going well. 
So basically, um, yeah, I'm done. I mean, there's not there's not much else to say. I feel good as an affiliate promoting a product where I can see my team win without them having to promote. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, I can go on. I mean, there's a there's a Facebook group full of people like Katesh was showing before. Three weeks ago, none of these people had experience with, with binary options or trading at all. I know that because they say that. I mean, everybody's pretty open and transparent there. Nobody has anything to hide. And now these people, three and a half, four weeks later, they're putting up all kinds of success stories of what's happening, and all of this is true because these are real people. These are not uh, higher monials. These are real people having real success with a solid product. So, I mean, I'm, I, I can go on and on, but I'll, I'll stop now. <laughs> but back to you. <laughs> well, we were hoping you'd go on and on, but um, you know, I don't know what else to say. This is one of the hardest things about presenting this. Is for one, it's very simple. So you you can't spend a whole lot of time trying to explain all the little you know theatrics about. Well, if if you're an opt-in page, then you put this headline, and then this happens. So there's not that. You know, it's kind of very super easy to show what it does. And the numbers are there for, for anybody to see. Right? Anybody can log in here. They can, they can go into their account. They can see the numbers over here. They can look at the live session results. So those numbers already exist, and those are all there. And then in terms of results of our users, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and I'm not going to get through all of these because there's just that many results. I mean, this is kind of crazy. I mean, we are not even done here. I can just keep going further and further back, and and there's hundreds of. I think we might have crossed over a thousand results in here by now, um, and that's just in the last month and a half or so. We haven't even been live two full months so far, so yep. it's really exciting. It's really exciting actually to see when when somebody posts and they say, you know, I just paid my month's rent with this. It's it's pretty awesome to see stuff like that. And then uh, you might have noticed, you know, we have the e-commerce side of, of it all back here as well. So if you're somebody who was listening to this and you're like, oh, you know, that e-commerce side sounds really cool too. How do I get into that? Well, you just go back over here, click on e-commerce integration, and that will take you through to the process where it'll, it'll help you understand how the e-commerce side of things works. And you can uh, begin on that side as well, or you, you can do them both together, or you can focus on one or the other, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Now, there are people in here who have made into five figures already. We know people who have made you know, 15, 20, 30,000 dollars in the last month and a half of just using options domination. We don't like using them as the, as the example. We don't like using them as the model of what you should be doing because those are pe typically people who are either trading very aggressively or they have very large balances that they started with, right? They started with 10,000 dollars and that's why they were able to do a lot more. So, in my opinion, that's not very helpful for the average person. That's why we don't show you that as much. Right now, every other company would typically parade those people out. They'd be like, look, these people are doing so well. We we bring you Sean, who's made a thousand dollars. Right? It's it's not the greatest thing in the world. We bring you Matt, who's made some money as well. But we're not showing you all those big accounts because typically companies show you that because that's all they have. They need the hype and they need you to believe the dream that you can make that kind of money. What we are saying to you guys here is, in fact, I haven't shown you my accounts, right? I could log into a couple accounts right now that, you know, is well into six figures in the accounts. But we don't do that, for one, because, you know, there's a regulatory side. We don't want to get into any trouble. But more importantly, there's an ethical side to it, which is we want you to understand you should make a decision to use this and to join this and work with this because it makes sense to you. Not because you saw somebody else posting the results or you heard from somebody else how well they were doing. It should actually make sense to you. The numbers should make sense to you. It should be a model that you believe you can actually actively follow. And if you can actively follow it, then you will have similar results as everybody else is happening is having. One of the other things with that with our platform is you can't hide it. You can't go out and pretend that, oh look, everybody is winning because it it it'll take and I'm serious, you know, part, this is one of the things that I don't really like a whole lot because you'll have one bad day, in fact, you'll have a couple bad hours or you'll have one little glitch in the system and we immediately hear from a thousand people that, oh, this happened, that happened. So we know for sure when we see this right here, we know that our users are doing well overall and we can see the results of the system. You should be able to see the results of the system and you can decide for yourself if this is what you want to do or not. Okay, so... All in all, you know, that's that's really the position that I take on this. In terms of what level you should begin that, in my opinion, the um, 
the place where you maximize your results are obviously legacy level, but the place that I think is best suited for the average person to begin with is the enterprise level. Um, and if you're really skeptical, you know nothing about it, you're short on money, you're like, you know, I want to take a couple weeks doing demo trading and I really want to build this up over time, then you should really get in on the uh, inheritance level and begin with that. Okay. Now, I see like, you know, there's all these questions about how do we actually get in this? How do we begin started? It's actually very simple. The page that you're on right now, it should look like this. Um, and Kevin, if you can like click on my name in the Google Hangout, then just to make sure that people can actually see this, you should be on, a, on this page right now and you're watching this. And all you will need to do is just click on this button right here. Okay, when you click on this button, it's going to give you the option to select which, which level you want to begin with, enterprise level, inheritance, or legacy. And you just fill out the form, click on get started, and, and you will be in there. And you can get started pretty much immediately. Just go through all the training videos, you'll be good to go. So actually, you know what, let me make one more very critical point. Do not start trading until you've gone through the videos in found in, under the foundation section and under the inheritance section. You absolutely must go through these videos before you begin because that will hopefully prepare you for this and make sure that you don't go into this with the wrong mindset or go into losses. Okay, so it's very important that you go through the training in here uh, before you begin. So if I had to give you like three things to do today, it would basically be one, uh, you know, join at the level that most speaks to you. Okay, like whatever level actually applies to you, whether it's in any Sorry. Sorry, what happened? Yeah, he said levels don't actually speak. Yeah, it's just messing with you. Go ahead, I apologize. Okay, um, apology rejected, but we'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> sorry. So the first step should be you join at the level that uh, most you can relate the most to that you're like that's the level that makes sense to me in my opinion it, for majority of the people it's going to be the enterprise level which if you are following this you if using this methodology as long as our results over the month are the same then over the month you should already make that back okay and again you can make that back without recruiting anybody or anything like that if you want to get on the affiliate side then you can also make that out, make that out by just you know referring somebody but we like to focus on this part um, the second thing you should do is go through all the training videos. There are not a whole lot of them, okay? So we're not telling you to spend the next three days in training. We're telling you to spend the next maybe two or three hours in training. Third, set up your demo broker account so you can start trading without risking real funds and get used to the whole process. This will make sure that you don't actually take any losses, that you can play around with it. You know, if you just want to get the feel for, you know, what it feels like to click different buttons and things like that, whatever it is, then you can use a demo account for it. And we show you how to go about that. And set up the broker account, set up the demo account, go through the entire process, and that will basically help you get, get started with the right footing. Okay. Now, obviously, you also have complete freedom. If, if a month in, you're like, you know, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I want to do this, and I want to drop out of this. That's fine. There is no contract telling you that you have to stay with us for the next eight years or something like that. Um, just these are the process I highly suggest that you actually follow through. This is the process. Join at the level that most speaks to you. Um, go through all the training videos. Set up your demo broker account so you can actually start on Monday when the signals are coming in. You can start with that on Saturday, Sunday night, actually, when the signals start coming in and we begin with the live trading, that you are actually there, you can start doing it, and you can begin seeing the good results from that. And I think that's that's basically all there is to it. Is there anything you can say, Kevin, to try and complicate the process a little bit? Yeah, I can. There's a lot of things I can say to complicate the process. No, go back, go back to that page real quick that you were just on. This one? Yep. So, um, you know, join the level and most speaks to you. I would, uh, to, to be honest, I would start at the um, the enterprise level because you get on those live trading. You get you get exposure to the live trading. That's where a lot of money is going to be made. So, I would definitely look at the enterprise level. Inheritance, toe in the water kind of stuff, but still, you're not going to get the full experience because you don't have the live trading accounts or, or the live um, trading sessions. The training videos, super easy to go through. Just run through them. They're the foundational course. It's, it's to get you up to speed on all the things you're saying. I have this question. We can read your mind. We know what question you have, and it's all answered in the foundation course. Okay? Set up your demo account. This leads to one question that we get all the time. 
how much does it cost to get started with a broker? And the answer is zero in the beginning because we want you to start with a demo account. But after that, you can deposit a few hundred dollars upwards as much as you want. But you can start with this with a few hundred dollars, okay, in your broker account. And from that standpoint, you can make smaller trades and build your account and scale it up. So easy stuff. This is the easiest platform you can possibly do. I mean, you know, we've got people who have done $2,400 in a single day. I think we had one person who did like 9000 in a day. Again, we're not going to, you know, highlight them all the time because, you know, this is what can the average person do. But again, in the same breath, they're not, they're not doing anything different than you'll be exposed to, okay, that you'll be able to do once you get started with options. So, yeah, the biggest thing is get started. You know, if you wait three minutes or an hour or two hours or a day or a week, you're losing out on training and you're losing out on money because you're not in here taking these trades. Um, get started. Get moving. And that's it. That's as much complication as I like to put into it. Well, that was better than usual. Yeah. All right. So let's go through the Q&A quick because anybody who has any questions right now, this would be a very good time to throw the questions in and we can answer them quick. I already see there's, a, there's three questions that, and we always get these questions. One question is, what do I do if I'm an international person? I'm not from the US. Or what do I do if I'm from the US? Does, does this apply? OK, so here's how it goes. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're in the world. You can participate and you can do this. There is absolutely no restriction from our side whatsoever. If you are in the US, then the only regulated broker that you can use is Nadex. We walk you through that. You can use Nadex. There is no problem there. They're approved by CFTC. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing going on there. Other than that, if you don't want to use Nadex and you want to use others, then your only option is to go to an unregulated broker, which we do not recommend, which you will see, you know, we specifically state you should use Nadex if you can, not even if you can, but you really just should use Nadex. And then also because Nadex, there's a really cool thing with that where you can actually generate a much higher payout rate. Right on the on, usually you when you're doing a binary option trade, you can get like an 80% payout. Let's say you took a hundred dollar trade, your profit will be eighty dollars. That's why your break-even point is like fifty-six to fifty-seven point eight percent, depending on what the payout is. But on Nadex, your payout can be a thousand percent. And I'm not just like making that up. There's actually a video where I show you guys I entered a trade and I finished the trade and I had I think a six hundred percent return or something like that in that particular scenario. So not only is it the regulated and the best broker to go with, it is also the the you know a, a very strong broker that will also it's, I keep calling a broker. It's also a very strong exchange that allows you to generate a much higher payout rate at times. So go through that. It's it's very very good. It's very important for you. If you're international, then you have other regulated brokers that are international. You can still be a part of Nadex, but there are also in other international uh, regulated brokers that you can work with. So you actually have almost more freedom as an international member than uh, than a US member. The second question we get all the time is about taxes and uh, uh, the taxes you basically have to report yourself and you know whatever profit you generate, you have to pay taxes on it. Uh, you would have to, you know, ask your accountant or your tax executive or whatever software you use to file your taxes. They'll have to address that because that's different for each state that you're in or what country you are in. We obviously can't give you advice on that, and we don't want to even try to because it's it's too complicated for us to attempt it. Um, and we we also don't have the legal authority to tell you what to do with taxes. So can't address that one much more than that. Um, the third question that we get all the time and is is again prevalent here is, um, is there a place that describes all the affiliate things and what the compensation plan is and so on? That is all available on our website. If you want, you can just go to optionsdomination.com. You can read through all the stuff that's uh, available on the website. You can also go to our support desk and you can click on the compensation button and it'll take you through our compensation plan and, and break things down for you. Okay, so just... Uh, that's that's basically it. It's it's not very difficult at all. It's uh, very straightforward. Um, I see somebody was just a, somebody just asked if I only have very little time every day. They say actually it's about three hours every day, which I don't think is very little. That's that's plenty of time. Uh, if I only have about three hours a day, what do you recommend I focus on? Well, if you have three hours of fixed time, then the ideal thing is that you spend one and a half to two hours of that on the live trading five nights a week. Okay, that's that's like a no-brainer. That's obviously the best thing to do. That's the most profitable thing to focus on. Um, 
the remaining hour and a half to an hour, whatever is left, I would actually focus some of that also if, if you're interested on growing the e-commerce side of things for yourself. You can just go through the e-commerce integration over here and it'll, it'll walk you through that. Um, these signals that come in during the day that we show you the signal tables, those as they come in during the day, you can just take them you know, whenever you're around. So I don't suggest that you should take out three hours randomly and just sit down and wait for signals because it all depends on what's the market doing and there's not like a fixed time. It's not like a fixed hour every day when you will get these new signals. So definitely set aside time for live trading sessions and definitely set aside uh, some time for the e-commerce side if, you, if you're interested in that. But that's where I would focus more than anything else. That, that would be my number one focus. Um, do you see any other questions, Kev, right now? No, I, I think that's good, and I, I'd like to keep this kind of short. We're at about an hour and 24 minutes in, but um, I would like to, for all the folks who are coming on board today and all the folks who are in options, I would like to do uh, a webinar very soon on, um, on getting started, getting up and running with options domination where we just go through and ask some of the questions um, that our user base has, and I'll tell you why. The questions that you have now, I mean, um, if it makes sense to you, get started, right? And um, it... it pretty much should make sense to you just because it's the only thing that you can do out there where we can look in the past and see what your results would have been and know that they're favorable, that they're good, that you would have made money, right? Um, again, you know, disclaimer, uh, past performance has no indication of, of future returns, but, um, but hey, we can see what is going on here and we can see what is happening on a day-to-day -day basis with the folks in options domination and they're winning and they're growing income. So get started. You know, get started, and it's not something that you have to run out there, or recruit for, or anything like that. You can just start making money with it, right? But I would like to have a um, another webinar very soon with members that are in, because I'm telling you, your questions change a lot once you're in there, and uh, yeah, you'll you'll get moving, get moving, get going, get in here, and uh, we'll we'll get you guys on a webinar very soon to uh, address yep. even more questions. Yep. Okay, there is actually one more question that I really really want to address uh, that just came in, and I saw that. Um, the examples that we showed you here with $1,000 as the initial balance or what Sean said is purely an internal il illustration. You do not need $1,000 to begin. Um, you can begin with certain brokers with 100 bucks. You can begin with certain brokers that's 250 bucks. You can begin at, you know, very, very low if you want. And we recommend at the beginning that you begin for free and focus on demo training only. Okay, So you should only put money in once you are sure that you want to trade, you should not put money in until you are sure of that. And you do not have, you know, a thousand dollars is not the minimum for you to begin whatsoever. And whatever money you put in the broker is not money that you are paying somebody. Okay, so that's money that is still yours. You just put it in the broker to be able to trade with. That is still your money. You can still pull that money out when you want. Um, do not do not confuse that as if that's a cost for doing business. It's not your cost to do anything. The only money you'll actually be using is the money for the trade size. Okay. Now we know of some people again who started with two hundred and fifty dollars. One guy started with five hundred dollars. Um, multiple people. Okay, not just one or two, but multiple scenarios where they've all ended up in the five figures just following this this method. But we just like to be very conservative in our estimates. We don't like to go out there and say, well, you can start for two hundred and fifty and make ten grand. We focus a lot more on doing this very safely. Um, if you have a thousand dollars and you're taking $25 trades, your risk of hitting zero is, is basically zero according to mathematical calculations with these numbers. Um, so obviously it can never be zero because in the future, you know, nobody can predict what's going to happen in the future for sure. But um, what's called a risk of ruin calculation would indicate a 0% risk following this strategy. Um, but that is not the that's not the minimum by a long shot. So please do not be thinking that that is the minimum or that you need that much money to get started with. Just go ahead and and start with whatever is comfortable for you. Get started. That's it. Get started. Get in. You know. Get trading. I mean, you you've seen what's you've seen the Facebook groups. You've seen what people are doing. Um, you know, it's a it's a system that if one person wins, you know, thousands of other people are winning at the same time because it's a signal that came out, right? Or it's a, a trade that was issued. Um, this isn't something, again, that relies on how good you are at anything. <laughs> it really doesn't. It relies on how good the signals are, and the signals have a track record of being phenomenal. So I would get started. Uh, you're, not, you're not going off of your skill base. 
Um, you're just getting in there, going through the, the foundation, and going through your, your training, start to open up a, a demo account on a broker, and start taking, taking trades, and you'll see for yourself very quick how profitable this can be for you. So I would say get started, get started, get started. And again, my recommended level is enterprise for sure, because you get on those live trading calls. You know, you get on the live trading sessions where you can uh, you can start going through and and uh, and hitting some of the things that that Excel spreadsheet that Hitesh keeps showing is built off of. Those are the numbers that we're looking at there. So. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Okay, it does look like every every question has been answered or largely answered. Um, and I see a lot of people are also getting started right away. So that's that's all exciting. You know, that's great. I hope all of you guys, you know, got a lot of out of lot, lot out of this. Like Kevin said, we will be holding another webinar. There's actually a couple of recorded webinars in the back office already where we go over the actual signals and we show you which signals you could have even avoided and, and won even more, you know, like a whole new level of winning with the signals. So um, I think uh, you guys will be very happy with what's coming in the next webinar. We'll, we'll do one and we'll walk you guys through any questions you have. We'll address those. In the meantime, go ahead and get started, get, get focused, and we will see you in Options Domination. We will communicate with you in there and... Just look forward to seeing you see, seeing you succeed in there. Any final words, guys? These are not final, final words. These are just final words for the hangout. <laughs> just final words for now. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, hey, great. Glad you guys could show up to the hangout. And, um, yeah, get started. We'll see you on the inside. That's all I got to say.